I'm Chef Jasper, and today we're in the kitchen preparing fresh shellfish. And of course, my favorite dish right now, oh my, it's a lobster and shrimp au gratin. You're going to absolutely go crazy over it. it. may look like a lot of ingredients more than Chef Jasper likes to use, but I'm telling you, old New Orleans recipe, sit back relax and watch me prepare this. Now, a little lesson, and I don't want you to be intimidated because a lot of people get intimidated with fresh shellfish, but not here. Look at this. Lobster tail, get some heavy duty scissors, okay? You can cut right along the back. Okay, seriously, what did that take? I mean, did we say maybe uh, three seconds? Of course, the tail this way, we're gonna do the same thing. Just crack it right down there, and look at this. Watch this meat just fall right out. I mean, I don't know. If you have a simpler way, then go ahead and do it, but I surely don't. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, one more time. Cut this lobster tail right down the middle. Put your scissors aside. Get your tail again, and there you go. Okay, and I'm telling you, the meat comes out of this. If you want to do a split lobster tail, this is perfect because now all we do, put this underneath the broiler, a little paprika on top, and serve it with some drawn butter and lemon. I mean, is that easy or what? But we're going to pull all this meat out of here, and like I said, like the last one, it just falls right out of the shell. So again, I'm going to say it a couple times, do not be intimidated with fresh shellfish. And you talk to uh, your fishmonger, and believe me, they'll help you along at the, uh, at the store. All right, this here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. This one's already split anyway. I'll cut this in about four to five pieces here. That's all we need to do. This one here, the little larger, we didn't split yet. Any excess shell, make sure we don't have any shell on there. I have my shrimp already peeled and deveined. Don't worry, I'm, I want you to use this, come on. This is flavor right here. Let's just clean up here just for a second. All right, now, a little bit of butter in the pan. <laughs> a little bit of butter. Looks like a little bit more than butter. Heat up just a little higher here. And now we start our whole process. Let that butter melt. In the meantime, I have some half and half and I also have some eggs right here. That's it. Some of the cayenne, most of the cayenne, because I'm going to leave this a little bit to finish up with, all right? Mix this all together. Use a whisk if you like. Put that aside. Now, notice you're looking at this recipe, no salt. You're not going to need any salt with the shellfish. You want to add a little bit more, go ahead, just like cracked pepper. I don't have cracked pepper in the recipe, but put a little cracked pepper in it. I love fresh thyme. We'll talk about that. All right. Now we're going to add our shellfish at this point. Like I always say, you smell that nutty butter right now. Now it's all coming together. We're going to add the shrimp because they both take about the same time to prepare. And let's start sauteing this all together. Now it's gonna cook very quickly, so we need to add most of our green onions. We're gonna save some to finish the top with. We're talking about uh, you know, the, the trinity, as they say down in, uh, in New Orleans and down south, okay? Our onions, our bell pepper. I love the red bell pepper, but green bell peppers, mixed peppers, okay? And the rest of the trinity, here we go, some celery. And don't forget, got to have a little shallot in there. I don't put garlic in this, but again, you want to put a little garlic in there, go ahead. Saute this all together. This is going to take probably about four to five minutes or so. Medium to medium high heat. All right, at this point, all I'm going to do, I'm going to add my artichoke hearts or bottoms, whatever you like. Give those a nice little turn. You don't need to cook those much. They're already ready, okay, when you purchase them. Give that a nice little stir. Add our flour. 
Just kind of stir that flour in there. We don't need to brown it or anything like that. Mix this all together. Okay, you think maybe that you made a mistake or something at this point. No, you did not. This is what it's supposed to look like. Add this to our mixing bowl. All we need to do, get every little piece out of there, especially if there's any lobster tail in there. We're not going to forget that at all. I like that little sound. Okay. And now we're just going to mix this all together. We have our lobster and shrimp mixture with the, you know, we call the holy trinity, the onions and the peppers and the celery, of course, and a shallot. Now, we're going to add our mixture of egg and half and half. If you want a little more cayenne, now's the time to add it. Looks like you have a lot of cream in there, but that flour is going to absorb all that. Give it a few minutes, just like this right here, and let it all kind of come together. At this point, I'm going to finish up because I like that cayenne there. I get the time, and I want to just kind of clean this time right off. Look at this, just right off that stem, just like that. Look how easy that, that, that comes clean. And we're going to leave some to decorate when we, uh, when we finish. But this is really our only seasoning in here, if you think about it. I mean, do you want to put a little margarine? I love margarine. It gives almost like a little flowery uh, uh, scent. We'll leave some in a nice piece there to to put on top, and that's about it, okay? Set this aside, mix this in. It's up to you, if you want the cracked pepper, go ahead and add just a little bit. I got the cayenne in there, so I'm not really concerned about that. All right, now, a little bit of cheese. I like a lot of cheese. And you know, use a mixture. If you wanna use a little mozzarella, if you wanna use a little Monterey Jack, uh, a little more cheddar, it doesn't matter. We need the cheese to help bind it when it's cooking also. All right, that's it. At this point, I have my ramekins. I don't need to butter these ramekins at all. And let's just get this mixture here, put them right inside, a couple on each one, and I'm telling you, it looks like a lot of cream in there, but it's going to almost just start becoming bubbly in that oven. That's about what we need in there. You could top it with more cheese if you like. I like to mix the cheese in the middle, but go ahead and put a little more cheese right on top. Oh, so delicious. We finish this up, place it in our 400 degree oven. 350 to 400 degrees. Fresh out of the oven, some beautiful lobster and shrimp au gratin. Oh my, we're gonna top it with just a few more green onions, that's up to you. And of course, some fresh thyme. I'm telling you right now, not only as an appetizer, main course, party buffet dish, you're gonna absolutely love this one. We're back in the kitchen again, preparing some more shellfish these crab clusters, oh yes, come on. Sicilian style, why do I say Sicilian style? My nana used to prepare it just like this. And of course, back in Sicily, you know, a lot of seafood, a lot of garlic, a little bit of olive oil or butter, of course, a little bit of parsley, some lemon, oh my. If you're in Sicily and the lemons, I think they go on every dish, including desserts. But let's get started here. First of all, I'm gonna make my, uh, my garlic and butter mixture. How simple? A little bit of butter there. The garlic, I'm not cooking the garlic here, so this is just a raw garlic, but you notice, very, very thinly sliced. Some chopped parsley. And here is something that my nana would always add, you know, a little bit of seasoning, of course, to this. It looks pretty thick, doesn't it? That's what we want. She would add a little seasoning. I came up with just adding some old bay, you know, a mixture. And look, and don't be shy with this, okay? That's the flavor. That's what we're looking for. No salt, no pepper, just that old bay, garlic, parsley, and of course, 
lemon juice. Here we go. This is going to thin this out and give it such great flavor. From here, we're going to learn another easy step, and that is preparing, give that one more little mix, preparing our, uh, our crab clusters, okay? A knife, simple knife, but make sure nice sharp edge on here. Go right down the center here, just like that, okay? Here, right here, we want to also kind of crack that area right there. Go right down here, each one. I don't do the smaller uh, little parts of the crab. You can. I mean, it's a little more difficult. Don't tell me that you don't eat that part, too, because that's just as good. But you don't really have to go through and cut that because that's just easier just to pull out. You hear that? Yeah, come on. It doesn't take long. It's simple. Don't be intimidated by this either, okay? Right down the, right, just hit that knife right down there. Get that, cl that cluster again, kind of crack it open. Get all that in there and just go right down the middle one more time. But my mise en place is done, okay? What am I talking about? Well, I'm almost finished. Everything's prepared for me now. But at this point, did I miss any here? I don't think so. Yeah, I did. See, you got to go back and just check those really quick. There's a little one there. He's hiding there, okay? At this point, get our mixture. Place these right on this. Let me split this one. Oh, split. That's split, too. We're good. We're good to go. Is this beautiful? Is this easy? I mean, we're talking about sheet pan cooking. We're talking maybe five minutes. That's it. Preheated, 400-degree oven. Look at this, right on top. That's it. Don't worry about it going over the edge into the sheet pan. I'm not going to waste anything. You'll see that in a few minutes. When it comes out of this oven, it's going to be not only delicious, it'll be sizzling, great flavor. I cannot tell you an easier dish in and out of the oven before you know it. We're ready. Come on. Okay, here we go. A dish reminiscent of my childhood and something I still love today. Just look at these crab clusters. When I tell you easy, I may say this 20 more times. I don't think it gets any easier than this. Along with garlic and butter mixture right on top. It's just hot enough now. It's starting to melt even more. Oh, my. Put a little more on the side, and you have it. How about this? Are we ready or not? Start picking these. Just open them right up here, just like that, and get that crab right out of there. It's so succulent. It's easy. Look at this one. Watch this. It's opened up already. Huh? How about this? Okay. I'm telling you. I got to bring back a little memory of my childhood. That's it. Oh, my. It doesn't get any better, I'm telling you right now. Garlic crab clusters, Sicilian style, it's easy. Do it yourself at home, I'm telling you. We're shucking in the kitchen today, that's right. And of course, it's all about oysters. And I'm telling you, do not be intimidated with opening up an oyster. Come on, first of all, we wanna look at these beautiful oysters, okay? And what do you look for first? Well, we look for a cup. Now you say a cup, yes, a cup. That's the bottom part right here. Of the, the flatter part is the top, okay? We need that cup, okay? Especially when we're gonna be grilling or even serving, you know, just with a little horseradish and, uh, and, uh, and chili sauce. Now we get our oyster, position a, uh, a napkin, a towel, something on there because you just don't wanna put your hand on there and you need a shucking tool, okay? That's right. You can buy them anywhere. Get on, go on, go online and get them, or go to your store and uh, and get one. Hold the towel right up against this, and you just push this right in here. What I'm talking about here. So right in here, there's like a little area. You kind of kind of feel that, okay? And that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna kind of feel this here, and you kind of just put that in there. I know I'm covering it up. I don't want to not let you see it. And you twist it. There you go. And you hear that? It was a little pop. Now we get this and we kind of go all the way around with it. You don't saw it, but you just go all the way around, twist it, just like this. And you open that up, just like that. You get that oyster and you just cut it right into that cup, just like that. Do not throw the liquor away. When I'm talking about liquor, I'm talking about that juice. That's gonna be the best part. That's kind of like the main ingredient other than the oyster in 
our grilled oysters we're gonna be preparing here in a minute. Here we go again. You ready? Let's get that kind of feel in there. You hear that pop? That was it. And there we go again. Okay, you could tell. Now, I'll be honest with you, kind of like two little cups here. This is an unusual one. It's a little bigger, but I like, I like either one, so we'll use that, okay? That's all you have to do. Simple. Look at the oyster. Kind of examine it, okay? Look around here. You, you don't want to open it from the side here, even though you can. You can pop that. You want to go right in here. You can kind of feel where your knife kind of goes in there. You hear, see that? You hear that pop again? That's it. That's all you need to do. Don't be intimidated. I, well, I'm going to say it seven, eight times to you. I probably will. Now, we'll set that aside. Let's turn our heat up here. And uh, we're going to start smoking here very, very soon. In the meantime, a little mixture here. Let's clean up here. And let's get on with our grilled oysters, okay? Perfect, okay? You have these beautiful oysters. You may want to eat them raw. I'm going to give you a recipe that I'm telling you it may be the number one or two appetizer when I put it on the menu at my restaurant that everybody just waits for. Now, just fine breadcrumbs. Very, very fine. Grated cheese. I love Romano. I'm going to save a little bit. Notice that I saved a little bit. A little bit of cayenne. I like paprika also. A little bit of garlic. A lot of garlic, okay, not a little bit. A little bit of parsley. Okay, that's my topping. I'm gonna put a little bit of parsley in here. My leftover garlic, because I'm not throwing any garlic away. And now we're set to grill and watch the magic start to happen. It's smoking. All right, you know when I say it's easy, it's easy, okay? Get these oysters with that juice right like this, okay? Right on top of your grill. Some of it's going to spill out. Don't worry about that. It's good for the, uh, good for a little smoke, I can guarantee you. Our garlic and butter mixture. Of course, my breadcrumb mixture here. And here we go. I like a little more cheese still. I'll put a little more on too while it's cooking. Okay. Look at this, right on top. Don't worry about hitting each one with the grill. The grill, it's good. You'll get a little bit on your grill, that's all right. Look at this, okay? Now, here we go. Right on top. That butter and garlic mixture with that parsley is gonna start smoking here. Did I time that one correctly or what? And there you have it. Let those cook. A little bit of cheese right on top. You know what the cheese does? Kind of secures some of those juices from leaking out. How about that? Now, did I tell you it was going to be easy? Did I tell you don't be intimidated? Just look at these beauties right now. Believe me, everyone's going to love these. And they're easy to eat. I'm telling you. Just a spoon or if they're sitting around for maybe like maybe more than five or ten minutes, pick them up and just them right out that way it's easy it's simple it's one dish you're gonna absolutely love I guarantee you and so you have it three easy dishes you don't have to be intimidated when preparing this shellfish I'm telling you right now just look at these oysters oh my and of course this little souffle little lobster and shrimp all gratin and Sicilian crab clusters I don't think it gets any better for your table from my family to yours, I am honored to serve this to them, and I know you'll be honored to serve it at your table. And as I always say, manja bene. Eat well, my friends. Brought to you by Hen House Markets. 